Hello, everybody. Let me turn here and see if this light will get a little better. I want to show you something. It's really dark out. It must be fixing the storm because it's not late enough. Well, is it? 540. Is it late enough to be that dark? Yeah, it's the end. Of, it's fall. I don't know. Anyway. I have a very strange feeling coming over me. I was told my left eye was the one that needed done first. I told that lady who was checking my eyes, you know when they put your you have to put your chin on that thing and they turn the little circles, which is better, this one or this one? This one or this one? You know what I'm talking about if you've ever had glasses or had your eyes checked. Okay, I told her that I bought these new reading glasses. They're down in them. I have to hide things from you know who or they'll get eaten. <laughs> these wore out. <laughs> we aren't we haven't been getting our naps in. <laughs> okay, which leads me to this is I think this is God. I got to tell you something. My heart's been acting up. Not real bad, but a couple days there, I almost called 911, but I was like, no, I'm not calling 911. I said, Lord, you're my perfect physician, and whatever this is, you, you fix it. And so I laid down. I used some oxygen, you know. And it got better. It's just been doing it off and on. So, I, I decided I needed to get my heart checked out. Because I have a history, alright? I've had this illness 30 years. I kind of know my body. And I almost died. <laughs> but it was cool because I got to see the glory of the Lord, y'all. I mean... Stupid me said, oh, Lord, don't take me yet. Okay, the day before I had found out my mother was dying of pancreatic cancer. Because she had six weeks to three months to live. And so we were all trying to get out there to see her, North Carolina. Trying to get up to North Carolina. Okay, my daughter and my, and my husband at the time, I had just left him. It hadn't been that long, maybe a month or two. And I said, Tommy, my mom is dying and you got to help me get up there to see her. And he said, okay, okay, how much do you need? And he actually gave me money. That was really nice of him. He bought me a TV because mine went out. I took the old one and left him the good one. So he bought me a little when I, you know, I still watch TV, not much, but it was just the very smallest thing, about the size of this computer, <laughs> but it was better than nothing, and I only had a studio, so I didn't have room for a big, huge TV anyway, it was before the big ones started, you know, coming down in price, so anyway, long story short, I didn't get a nap, and it was a stressful day, but I wasn't sad because I knew my mom was going to heaven and she was in assisted living and I knew her life would be better and I was getting to go. I was getting to go, fly there. My sisters were picking me up. We were making all these arrangements Saturday afternoon. And it was all panning out. All the schedules were working out. Where we were going to stay. So, and it was just, it was, it was a bittersweet time, you know. But my mom and I, we were always, since 18 years old, me, not close. You know, we used to be when I lived at home. But anyway, the long story short, I wasn't super close to my mom. My daddy was my favorite. Jesus, don't tell my mom. But anyway, 
the point is, it was still a stressful day, and I didn't get my nap. Okay, the next day I have this SVT with atrial fib, and I almost died. <laughs> okay, so I know what doing extra stuff and not getting a nap can do to me. <laughs> okay, so anyway... I'm supposed to have this eye surgery, right? The left eye is supposed to be bad, and they were going to do it first. The lady made the test out like the left eye was bad, the worst one. I want to, I'm going to do something, and I want you to, I've, I've got Google Images pulled up from my last video. The writing is very, very tiny. Watch this. I am going to close my right eye. This one says, what's on Jeffrey Epstein's island? Jeffrey Epstein's, it's blurry, but I can read it. Jeffrey Epstein's island, what? There's a letter, dot, dot, dot. What happened to Jeffrey Epst? Stops with a T, dot, dot, dot. FBI raids Jeffrey Epstein's private. Anyway, da, da, da. See what I mean? Left eye. Now, here's the right eye. Let me go down to ones I haven't read. Can't make it out. Over here, it's lighter. I cannot tell this at all. I can I can I can make it out. I can't. St. Thomas Airport workers. Blue striped building on private island. You can look up Jeffrey Epstein's island and see it yourself. FBI raids Jeffrey Epstein's private. Dot dot dot. I smell a rat. What about you? May the Lord just protect me. I don't have the money for both eyes with with the way I was going to do it. I found out all the costs, the co-pays, hiring help afterward. Someone has to drive me. It was, I was paying a nursing service to drive me. They were going to stay there, bring me home, stay with me at least a couple hours, and come back the next morning, take me back. And that's a four-hour minimum. When you need a ride, that's a four-hour minimum at $25 an hour. And I was going to hire them to take me the Friday before for the COVID test. Which would be tomorrow. And then those two days next week. And then the week later. But then I thought, well, I might be able to take a cab by then. but then Or, or get a ride some other way. Well, now I'm going next week instead to get... An EKG and a heart monitor and labs and no COVID test and it'll probably be all right and that'll be just fine they know my history they do this from time to time anyway I was supposed to see the cardiologist on the first but they moved it to the eighth <laughs> I thought well that's kind of weird I I Texted them or emailed them. You, you know, it's a patient portal thing. And I know I'm rambling, but I'm just letting you know. I'm keeping you up to date because this, I think, is a God thing. I believe he's protecting me. Why does my left eye see this stuff and my right eye can't? My right eye cannot see this, and they were going to do the left eye first. 
And that makes me mad. Tell me what you think in the comments below. What would you do? I think I'll get a second opinion. I just want to go to one of them little eyeglass places and don't tell them anything about cataracts and say, I need some new glasses. And I need, uh, I just going to say, I need some new glasses. You know them places that only charge about 40 bucks for them to do the, the eyeball part without all the other, which they went into without even asking me. It was supposed to be free. Now I owe them $40 for that checkup. Because they did more than just look for eyeglass prescription. I'm a little mad about it. Not at them. I can't. Our war is not against flesh and blood. It upsets me that this is the world we live in. And I know it shouldn't. It's like, it's just one more thing. It's just one more thing. Scam artists abound. Anyway, I will let you go with that. I'm sorry if I rambled on too long. But I'd like your opinion. What would you do? Would you call them out on it? Or just move along? Bye for now. Talk to you later.